These two commands help you to work with multiple images inside Photoshop. Place link and place embedded. In this video, you are going to learn the difference between the two commands and how to use them properly. Let's get started. Alright, let's start by opening these two documents in this folder. As you can see, I have a book which is a book design and this icon which is going to be placed on top of the book design. The first thing I'll do is to drag the book inside Photoshop. I'll just place inside here to create a copy. To import the icon, I'll go to File and then I choose Place Embedded. Then I'll choose the free icon. And put it here. Now each time you use place embedded, the embedded icon or document becomes part of the document you are currently working on. So this free icon is already part of this document. So even if I enter into this folder and do some changes here and there, they won't actually affect the look of this particular document because it has been embedded as part of this new document. And even if you were to send this document or this PSD file to a friend, the friend will also have access to this free document or this free icon. Out of the two commands, the one you will find most useful is place link. So let us assume I need to change the colors here to actually pop. For that, I will start by deleting the free icon and then I will go to file and I will choose place link this time. Then I will just double click on the free icon one more time. I will scale it up and move it here. If you look on the icon thumbnail here, you will see a little chain icon there. That tells you this is a link icon. And if for some reason you modify the file name, you will have a warning sign here that you need to update the file. Now let us assume I need to change the colors of this icon. For that, let's open the icon as a separate document. Now I'll click here to expand the group and I'll just double click inside here to change the color of the background. I'll make it this color and change the text color to another color. Let's say this color. With all these changes, if you return to the book document or the book design, as you can see, nothing has happened. But once you come to this document and you save the changes, because as you can see, we have a little star beside the file name right here. This tells you that all the changes have not been saved. So simply press Ctrl plus S on the keyboard. Once the changes have been saved in this original document, if we return back to the book design, you will also see that the changes have been reflected here because it was a linked file. So that's one benefit of working with place link command. Assuming you have 100 of these books to place different icons or the same icon on all the books, this is a technique I would recommend. Because if you update just one file, it gets updated all through the other files or documents. Now let's see what happens if you rename the file from the folder. So I'll start by saving the changes, Control S, and then I'll close all the documents. Then return to my folder again. Now let's rename the icon from free to just icon. And let's open the two documents again inside Photoshop. Let's start with the book design. As you can see, we get a prompt right here on the screen. What Photoshop is simply asking you to do is to relink the file that has been changed. If you also look on the thumbnail here, you will get a question mark. So what you simply have to do is to come here and then just click on relink. Or you can cancel out from here and then here on this particular layer, just right click. And as you can see here, we can relink to another file or relink to library graphics. If you also have another graphics which you need to replace this one with, you can also choose this option. Now I'm just going to choose this one which says relinked to file. Now Photoshop will take me back to the folder and I'll be able to select this icon. Once I place it, the question mark will disappear. Now let's save this document one more time and close it. And then let's return to that document folder again. And this time, let us open just the icon inside Photoshop. Now let's modify the content one more time.
Now just with this slight change, let's save all the changes and close the document. And let's open back the book design. As you can see on the layers panel, instead of having a question mark, we have an exclamation mark. What the exclamation mark simply means is that there is content which has been modified, but those changes have not yet been saved in this current document. So to fix that, simply right click here. And then as you can see, if you want to modify all the updated content, you can click here. If you want to update just the specific content related to this document, click here. So I'll choose the first option here. And as you can see, the new changes we made in the previous documents have also been reflected here. So I find place link and place embedded to be very helpful because once you start using images inside different designs and illustrations, it is actually important to know why you need to use one command instead of the other. So this is how you can use place link and place embedded inside Photoshop. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye bye.